Hi, this is Numeric Citizen here. In today's video, I want to share with you 10 things that drives me crazy about craft. Let's get started. Here's something that drives me really crazy uh, within craft. Uh, so as you might expect, I'm a big uh, user of craft. So I have a lot of documents uh, sitting in different spaces, as you can see on the left here on the left bar. And um, so if I'm looking at a document, like right now, I'm looking at the craft Bible, which I am the author. Uh, so let's say I'm going to uh, look at something within the craft Bible. So I want to see the, the, um, the update history. And then I want to check something in a document sitting in another space. So let's see in that space, I click on this space there. And then when I'm within that space, I want to check this document. So I do something in this document and then I want to go back. If I do that with the uh, space switcher here, go back in this space, in a private space, boom. Where is the, the context of uh, where I saw, where I was using the, the craft Bible. So I have to click there and then boom, at the beginning of the, the craft Bible, instead of uh, being at the right, exactly the same position I was before I did the switching. Um, there is a way to uh, to make uh, things uh, work. Uh, and the way to do that is by using the uh, arrows there. There's the back uh, arrow, the navigation uh, back arrow, and then there's the forward one. So let's say I'm doing the same thing. Uh, I want to do uh, check something in the update history. If I want to do uh, look at something in another space, let's say in this space, I want to check something and then I want to go back to the um, to the craft Bible. If I go there, once again, boom. So the problem is uh, we should have the same kind of behavior uh, if we're using the navigation or if, you are, if we are using the uh, space switcher. It's very frustrating and it drives me crazy. Here's something else uh, that drives me crazy in craft. So let's say I have it, this uh, display right now, with, which is the content of this folder, the tags folder on my on the left. Uh, if I click on one of the document with right click with the one on one of the document, and I go in the copy as, I see the copy deep link option. Now, if I do the same thing on the document like here and I say, select copy as, copy deep link is not there. Why? If I look at this uh, same menu, there's the star option. So I can start this document. So it appears in my start folders. If I do the same in a right click on the document on the left, the star option is not there. Why? There is no reason why this menu should not be uh, kept in sync for those basic uh, things. This drives me nuts. Oh, I almost forgot. If I right click on this document, I can select move to. But if I go on the navigation there on the left, there is no move to option. Why? Here's something else. Let's say I'm about to write a, a document. So this is the document title, enter. And then I want to uh, insert the content from a template. So I'll hit the forward slash to have the uh, comment menu. And then I can, I can type the E. So I can insert from a template, enter. And then if I want to select template using the keyboard, so I don't want to move around with my mouse, I cannot do that. Why? What if I want to switch from uh, this document, the uh, daily notes, a search or a notification without uh, using the mouse? There is no way to do that from the keyboard. What if I want to switch from one space to the other using the keyboard? Not possible. Why? Now on the iPad, if I want to use the copy uh, deep link option, um, the key, the, this option is located within the export as uh, menu instead of being on the right click uh, on a document. Uh, why is that? 
uh, copy deep link has nothing to do with exporting a document it's only copying a reference uh, within craft uh, why is that Here's another one. Uh, let's say I'm in a daily uh, view right there. I'm clicking there. I have a, uh, today I created some content with a text image and I want to move that into the documents uh, portion there. Um, so right click, there is no uh, uh, drop down menu. There is no way for me to move that uh, content to uh, a document. Why is that? So the only way for me to do that is to uh, select all the content there, cut the content, go in the document, create a new document and paste it. There is a lot of uh, manual, uh, it's very tedious uh, operation to do. Uh, there should be a way to move that content from the daily note to a document uh, in, this, uh, in this view. It's very frustrating. Here's another one. Let's say I want to search for Apple command O from the keyboard. I type the word Apple in the search field and then craft will show me uh, first the folders which contains the Apple uh, word. And then there's a few documents. As you can see, there's a lot of documents containing the uh, Apple uh, word. Um, the problem is what if I want to drag this specific entry to uh, one of the folder on the left. I cannot do that. And you might expect that as we get more and more content created within craft, this is something that becomes pretty, uh, I mean, it's, it's not, uh, uh, I think it's uh, reasonable to expect uh, to do things like dragging a, uh, something from the search field into the uh, folder. So it's not possible right now. I don't know if it will change in the future, but I find this to be pretty frustrating. Here is something that I find annoying. Uh, some of the features in Craft uh, are f feels like they're unpolished or uh, unfinished. Um, I'll give you an example. Uh, the custom branding and the custom domain, uh, two things that are closely related together. If I hit this, uh, this, this website there, if you look at the, uh, there's a loading uh, animation that is not, um, as you can see there, it's the default craft website uh, icon that, that shows up. Um, but I have the custom icon there on the top right corner, but the loading of the uh, page is not the custom branding. Uh, it should be. The other thing is the default uh, fav icon for this uh, document or this website uh, is the default craft uh, icon. Again, this should be um, something that we can change and set it to be the custom icon for the top right there. So as you can see, um, it's kind of, it feels like unpolished or uh, unfinished. Uh, and this is something that kind of, I, I, I find it to be <laughs> frustrating to see those things. Uh, Craft is such a great application, very well designed in general, but there is few corners here and there that feels uh, incomplete. Uh, so that's one of the other things that drives me crazy about Craft. Here's another one. Let's say I'm reading a blog uh, and I find this article um, interesting. I don't want to save it uh, as a bookmark within Craft. Uh, I can go in the uh, share sheet, select Craft. And the problem for me is that uh, the document should go in the second and the space should go first. Why? Because I, the first thing that comes to my mind is if I, since I'm using a few different spaces in craft, um, am I saving the document in the right space? So that's the first thing I'm thinking. But the thing is the space field is, uh, is second. So those two fields should, should be inverted uh, to, um, I would say. So again, a little frustration. Here's the thing, Craft uh, is updated quite frequently, uh, it's about like every two weeks or maybe three weeks, uh, we get a new release of Craft. Um, the team behind Craft is listening. Uh, they, have, uh, they are present on, on a Slack community and they are present on Circle community. Um, the problem is that basic 
things, uh, there's some basic things that a lot of people will mention on, on those communities that takes forever to get fixed. Um, here's an example. Uh, here's a, I'm showing the content of the content factory folder on, on, the, on the left. This is what you're seeing on the right. What if I want to change the display of this folder to use like a uh, tiling like that or a list like that? But on another folder uh, here, I want to uh, display it in um, using those styles. This is something to me that looks very basic uh, in nature and I don't think it needs a, 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 a lot of engineering behind that to change this behavior. Um, and we're still waiting for Craft to fix that or to implement a, 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 a per folder setting for display of the content on the right. Uh, the other thing that is kind of lacking, and I don't know why it's so complicated, is the possibility to search across spaces. Uh, as we get uh, more content created on, in, on, in Craft and we create more spaces, um, it's kind of... Uh, troubling that if I'm in this space and I'm hitting the command O option to search something, all the things I'm seeing there are the uh, recent document within that space. But what if I want to search for something that sits in the private space there? Uh, it's not possible. So this is something that a lot of users are asking for, but we're still waiting for that. So that's the thing that drives me crazy about Graph. It takes forever to fix basic things. The last thing is um, is um, which uh, drives me uh, nuts uh, is the fact that Craft should copy uh, features from other application more often. Let me give you an example. Uh, when Apple release a new iOS release and you start one of the stuck application uh, in this release, you will often meet a new what's new splash screen to tell you what are the main features that has been added in this release. Uh, Pixelmator also creates a very um, beautiful splash screen where each major release will tell you visually what's new in this release. Uh, Craft is doing something similar. I mean, they are building a what's new section on their website. They're sending a newsletter with each um, new release explaining what are the new feature. But I'd like to see uh, the what's new um, uh, uh, splash screen to uh, be implemented within Craft so you can look at it pretty easily on demand, uh, not only when we first launch the uh, new release, uh, that's something. So, but in more uh, general terms, uh, I'd like uh, Craft to copy things. Uh, recently, they uh, added the a way to duplicate blocks by using the Option key on the keyboard while dragging those blocks. That is something that we can find in uh, drawing application uh, on on the Mac, and it took forever for them to implement that feature. Uh, I don't know what's uh, holding them uh, to do that more often, but uh, they should uh, try to uh, replicate a lot of basic things from other applications. And I don't think Craft will lose its soul by doing that. It's only a matter of uh, trying to be efficient uh, in order to introduce new feature to the, to the application without uh, much thinking. Uh, what is working in one application sometimes works also in another application. Uh, those concludes uh, my ma ma most <laughs> frustrating things about Graph uh, for, for this video. Make no mistake, uh, I love Craft. Uh, I'm a very uh, passionate user of Craft. Um, and uh, I even wrote a, a love letter to Craft on my main blog uh, that you can uh, read if you follow the notes. Uh, the, the link has been uh, will be put in the uh, uh, YouTube video description. Um, but craft is not perfect, and uh, this is what I'm explaining in this video. Basically, uh, those things are drive me uh, are driving me crazy uh, when I'm using craft. That's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope I wasn't too heavy with my frustrations about craft. Uh, again, I love the app, but um, there is a few things that needs to be fixed. Uh, those things uh, 
looks pretty easy uh, to fix uh, to, for me. I hope they will fix uh, those issues in the, in the next few releases. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being there. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit like if you like this video. See you guys for another one. Bye.